What's up, it's Tony here. So this is what I'm going to talk about, street picking. Uh, some of you ask about doing a lesson about that, so here it is. I'm going to show you some tricks to improve this technique and at the end of the video as always, I'm going to show you a few leads so yeah, you can develop this on your own and everything. So, hope you enjoy. Okay, so street picking. First thing that you have to know, or first thing that you have to do, is that you don't have to be afraid of this technique because you know, a lot of students came to me and say, oh, uh, you know, I will never be able to do that, or this is impossible, or this is too much difficult for me, or stuff like that. And first step to me is don't be afraid of this technique. I mean, if you can see yourself in your mind doing sweep, then, uh, I mean, that is the first step. Because, you know, if you, you are not confident in a technique, or, you know, you say, oh, it's impossible, then no matter what, you, you are not going to get it. So, first step, yeah, be confident and trust in yourself. Trust that, okay, I'm going to do this, you know, with time, practice and everything, I'm going to do this slow at first, and with time, you're going to get it, just like everything. Uh, after that, you know, explaining uh, how to sweep is not easy, you know, because everyone has different techniques. Yeah, there's people that move their, their arm like that, then there's people that move the arm like that, then uh, you can make an upstroke and down and everything, but you know, I'm gonna try to explain my way to do that. So, let's say I'm playing C minor, I'm gonna play three notes here. Well, three notes in a row and then a few more, so it's like... So, in normal contest, we will play like down, up, down, up and down. So, if I sweep it, I will do it in a different way, I will make like down, down, So pretty much it's like a fluid movement of my right hand, so... So that's the first step, be confident and try to do that and try to make it sound clear. So, and you have to be relaxed with your right hand because if you are not relaxed then your pick is gonna be, you know, trapped on the, on the strings, you know what I mean, like... Uh, you, you will not be able to move to the next string and stuff like that because you have to be relaxed, like... Okay? Just like when you play a chord that you don't think actually okay, I'm gonna hit the C uh, to strings. You just play that, so it's got to be that way as well. Now, the next step for me is add a note on the third string, like I was playing first. Okay, the difficult part here on the ship, because pretty much everyone can do that, but the difficult part came when you try to add some notes, like... So here, for me, you have to make an up, okay? So up and now, down, down, down. I mean, the speed for me it has to be down always, and if I have a note before that, it's up. If I have two notes, then no matter what, I'm gonna be down, up, and down, ready for the sweep. So like... So it's like up, down, 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 up, and down. If I not add another note here, it's gonna be down, up, down, So that's the first part of sweeping, understanding which way you have to pick down, up, or you know, wherever it feels comfortable to you, but that's my way of doing that. Now I'm gonna do a close up with my right hand because I think it's the important part here, my right hand to be, you know, relaxed, you can see how I hold the pick, how I pick the strings and everything. And after that I'm gonna show you few leads and everything, just like always. So let's do that. Okay, so here's the close-up about sweet picking. And first thing I want to say here is that be relaxed, uh, you know, with your hand, with your pick. I mean, grab the pick softly, but, you know, hard enough, so you, you don't want the pick fall and everything. But you want to be relaxed enough to, you know, don't hear that and everything, so just like... Okay? And second part, or second important thing for me, is like don't play a sweep like an effect, like a Pac-Man effect or something like that, like a lot of my students just play mine like... And it's, that's way too fast, I mean I cannot hear a note and it's, it's not possible to, for a human being to be accurate that fast, so... At least, well, for me it's not possible, so try to make every note count, like if you're gonna play A minor, try to play... At first it's slow, if you're gonna play it fast, then play it fast, but play it like every note is there, not like just an effect, like... So pretty much you can hear all the notes there. Okay? Like that. And what happens when I have more than one note per string? Like, let's say here I'm gonna play a minor 7. 
So no matter what, when I'm gonna sweep, my hand is gonna go down. So I have three notes here to sweep. So no matter how many notes I do on the third string here, if I do one, then it's gonna be up and down. If I do twice, I'm gonna be down, up, and down. So the important thing is that this A has to be down to, uh, to be ready for sweep, to say it like that. So let's say I'm gonna play. So I play like up, hammer on, uh, I mean pull up, and now play up just one because I have to play down, up, and down to be ready for sweep again. So if you hear that sound like this. So again, try to play, try to uh, listen every note. Every note's gotta be there. Don't play like that's a mess. I mean, try to play as slow as you have to, but every note has to be there. Like. Let's play some leads about this technique. Okay, so this lead goes pretty much in A minor all the time. And first step is you have to know the you know the right um, arpeggios of A minor. So the first one goes like this from the 12th fret of the five string. here is repeat the last three strings so it goes like uh, then after that that was like and go to the next uh, position to say like that and I play the seven here so it goes like then I go um, until the five string again so it goes like Again, and then I finish on the A here on the 17th fret of the first string. So slow down, goes like this. So this first lead goes, uh, it's pretty much the introduction of the video. So it's very easy because all the time the same fingering. I'm starting the 15th fret on the 4th string and it goes like this. And it's all the time like that, so... You can repeat the last string, I think it's cool, so like... That's an option, so anyway, I don't do that. <laughs> so I go to the 14 and same 10 and the 8. Uh, sorry, and now I make a bending here. Now, take care, you have to open a lot your hand here, like so. Try to practice that one alone. And try to, uh, your thumb has to be on the right way be beside the neck, you know? Okay? Don't, don't play like that because you cannot open your hand like this, so just put your thumb on the right position and then it's pretty easy. So, slow. Oh, and I connect them, all of them, with slide. I think it's cool. Wait. Last leg is a little bit different because you have more than one uh, uh, note per string, but you know, uh, just practice it, it's slow and everything, you're gonna get it. So, let's see. so slow down goes like this. Sorry, that's the first.
first part. So pretty much everything is hammer on or legato, uh, but the, the sweep, of course. Okay. Now I go from here. Here I pick pretty much everything like down, down, up, uh, down, down, down. Then everything goes like this. Okay, so I hope you like this little lesson about sweet picking. I uh, hope you like the leads and everything. Please don't watch the video, it's going to be here on the uh, description box under the video. If you have any comments to do or anything, any questions, feel free to comment the video as well. And I'll see you next week. Good luck with that. Trust in yourself and keep rocking.